Hi, snooker fans. Curtis Braith of Air Force Snookerfans.co.uk. I'm with my very, very good pal, the man we know as the senior, as he's regained his tour card back. Pete, congratulations, pal. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you back. Uh, you battled back really well last two events. Uh, unfortunate against Riley Parsons to, to lose out, but then you showed your class again, getting to the business end of this one and getting that tour card back, pal. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon after the first comp when I only had three points coming into the like, second comp, but I didn't think I'd have much chances of getting in the top four. But you know, I, you know, I was determined to at least try as hard as I possibly could, and, and in the end, it's paid off. I mean, a big pressure game for you against Zach Surety today as well, like, because obviously Zach's, Zach's a talented player and he pots a lot of crazy balls, doesn't he? But uh, you, you're a huge match player and you're, and you're now spar and uh, navigating through that one. Yeah, yeah, all the matches are tough down here. You know, the standard, it, it's obviously it's nowhere near as good as the men's tour. You know, that's why the players are here trying to get on the men's tour. But the pressure out there, it's just absolutely immense because you know everybody knows what's at stake, you know, and, and everybody wants to be on the men's tour because it's so good. So it, it, it's, it's just absolutely fried at the pressure. No, absolutely. But like I said to you, Pete, you can't expect me to travel the next two years to all these uh, exotic places they take me about your company, pal. Do you know what I mean? So you had to get the job done, sir. Absolutely, yeah. That's the only reason I tried, you know, to get here. And then uh, hopefully to get to Mark Allen's pro arm. He said I couldn't go if I didn't get on the tour, so I was trying <laughs> Oh, Pete, let me just remind you all, mate, uh, before Riga, there'll be a players meeting for new tour players again. So make sure oh. that you're on time. <laughs> yeah, just tell me the same things you've been telling me for the last 30 years. No swearing. <laughs> Different class. Look, Pete, I'm absolutely delighted for you, pal. I mean, like, is, what were the emotions going through you, like, when you when you're playing Zach? Because I mean, like, it's, like you said, so much pressure and tension out there, man. Yeah, it, it's been. It's funny because it's been a tough. It's been a tough few months for me, you know. I, I, like it is for all players, you know. I mean, when they when they fall off, you know, I, I needed to win my game in the world to stay on. I lost ten nine. I needed. I, I got to the final qualifier in the second comp. I lost four three. And and the pressure just builds and builds. But you know, you just got to keep. You just got to keep trying. You know, I love to play snooker and I wanted to get on the tour, you know. And also, I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it, you know. Yeah. You know, that, that yeah, could, because I'm still fairly dedicated. And I, I just wanted to, I wanted to prove something to myself. I know what I mean. Last, last year was a strange one for you, you because know, you had some massive wins and all, beat some top, top players last year and then probably lost a few games that you, that you shouldn't yeah. really lose. You know, it was a strange one, wasn't it? Yeah, well, what it was, it was the first sort of six months of the year I was determined that if it was going to be my last season, I was going to go there, I was going to enjoy everything about it and I was going to play and, 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 and I, I was playing some really good stuff and when I got to the semi-finals and the Paul London, it kind of had a, it kind of had a, a reverse effect because he would have thought, oh yeah, I like, had got to my first ever semi final. But to sort of get so close to winning something that he wanted to do for so long and then lose so close, because I'd kind of resigned the fact that, said that I wasn't going to win a comp. And I was, I was within touching distance, and it, it, it just, it, honestly, it, it kind of broke my heart. It was, it was, because I was so yeah. close to doing it, and, and, and I didn't recover. I just didn't recover. And then, you know, I sort of stopped enjoying it because I was, you know, I was just so fed up with it. Yeah. And more to the point, Pete, getting, getting a semi when you're 50 ain't easy, is it, pal? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Of any description. <laughs> Correct, pal. Well, look, not much time to really dwell and celebrate, pal, because I said we're in Sheffield in a couple of days' time, pal. But look, I'm absolutely over the moon that you're going to be there, pal, and that you're back on tour. So massive congratulations from all of us at snookerfans.co.uk, pal. Thank you, and thanks very much for your support, Kurt. Always, Pete. Always, pal.